so in today's video we will learn about the basics of embedded system ok so this is also a full part series about embedded systems ok so what basically an embedded system is see whenever we talk about embedded system the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, something that is embedded within some other application ok so this is like you can say uh, your car ok uh, I am not showing a literally a car or something ok so let us consider it's a car ok so whatever functionalities you have in your car are like uh, uh, you have anti-lock braking system then you have airbags ok then you have uh, speed governors ok and all these utilities ok so these are kind of utilities that mostly appear in form of electromechanical devices connected to a logical computer ok so small computing system so here this all these things can be designed around a small microcontroller ok so small microcontroller or in other words you can say mu c ok so that is the notation for a microcontroller so this is how these things work so this application of embedding certain microcontrollers within an existing system is known as embedded systems so that is why they are known as embedded systems uh, because in existing system you attach those things to the peripherals and so it is known as embedded systems ok embedded systems so the first thing that you should know is how do you get started with embedded systems so most of the books that uh, are currently available mostly focus on two things ok like C programming and assembly assembly uh, sorry for my handwriting but I am not used to writing on this writing pads and stuff ok so excuse me please uh, so these are the two things C programming and assembly so these are the two things that you should know if you are getting into the field of embedded systems so apart from that there are a few things you should know ok uh, we will discuss about that in this video see uh, so to begin with whenever we talk about embedded systems uh, now I will consider the scenario or you can say the real world scenarios only I won't be talking about abstract things ok so I will try to give you the best hands on experience if possible uh, through these videos ok so the beginning videos will be like uh, the screencast thing and afterwards uh, maybe I could try something like experimenting and showing you small small embedded system projects ok so what I will cover in this thing is I will cover 8051 ok then the programming tools ok so for that programming tools we will be requiring keel ok keel or keel whatever I don't know the pronunciation properly ok and SDCC uh, if you are using Linux ok uh, for the people who use Linux uh, keel is not available actually on Linux and so it is preferable to use SDCC there ok so you can use either of them uh, anyway so these are the three things that uh, are focused on this thing ok so apart from this for this 8051 as a variant of 8051 we are going to use 8089s51 ok so why we are going to use this uh, I will tell you in some other video ok and this is the compiler ok so KL uh, is a compiler design company ok so they have something called as C51 which is a series they have specifically offered for the 8051 based compilers ok and in the actual programming part we will learn two things ok so we will learn about C programming as I mentioned earlier and we will learn assembly so first things first uh, before you get into actual programming part uh, you should know 
a lot about the hardware part first okay so generalized architecture of an embedded system you can say okay so this is actually a part of microcontrollers you can say an extended part of microcontroller and theory so the first thing that an embedded system will have is the in terms of how it differs from a micro processor or anything likewise it is the io section okay so i will be explaining form of blocks okay we'll not go into scaling diagrams as of now okay so there's io block and there's a processing block there's a logic block or you can say a kind of alu okay alu plus a logic block you can say and processing block processing block and uh, uh, just to make it uh, more subtle okay and processing block and these blocks are connected to each other with buses okay electrical connections okay so at this io ports okay these are ports these are defined and internally there will be general purpose registers okay just like the microprocessors there are general purpose registers then there are register banks uh, this is somewhat new what uh, you see in microcontrollers okay there are register banks here so they act as a live scratch pad for you okay so it makes the writing programs really easy okay uh, it makes it piece of cake to write programs and easily uh, manipulate values and all those things okay so that is important part so this is how a uh, generalized microcontroller would look like in a embedded system so the io can be anything likewise okay if you are controlling a motor so then uh, uh, first thing is a switching device okay so if you want to switch the motor on and off so here you can have a switching device okay like uh, you can say you are having a relay here so you have connected to the relay okay then other thing you can have something like a pwm controller okay so pwm controller or anything likewise okay so these are the things that are connected at the input output side and based on these things we do the controlling part okay so this is how a generalized embedded system looks like so we'll get into further details in the next video okay for now i don't want to make uh, it all together uh, so that it can get confusing or anything likewise okay so we'll end this video now and i will put the content in the next video okay thank you